Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today, and happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if you're watching in the morning, uh, I hope you have a great day of Thanksgiving. If you're watching in the evening, winding down, I hope that you had a great time and were able to spend some time with some people close to you. Uh, you know, as we look at our word for the day today, uh, it is not necessarily a Thanksgiving passage, uh, but we've been working through the book of Philippians, and it just so happens that these next few verses catch us in a season of Paul giving giving thanks uh, for people in his life. Uh, he writes to the church in Philippi in uh, chapter 4, verse 14. He says, Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. And you Philippians yourselves know that in the beginning of the gospel, when I left Macedonia, no church entered into partnership with me in giving and receiving except you only. Even at Thessalonica, you sent me help for my needs once and again. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that increases to your credit." He just pauses and, and reflects and he thanks them in this moment as he's wrapping up this letter to them. It's a letter of encouragement, of instruction, of guidance. And he goes, hey, thank you for partnering. And he just acknowledges that they were there. And it really, we can pause on this day of Thanksgiving and reflect on the money, the stuff, the food that we have. But really, aren't we most thankful for the people that have been in our life, the people that are currently in our life, we're thankful even for those that aren't in our life anymore because they've passed away or moved on. We're thankful still for the investment, for the time, for the impacts they had in our life. And so today I hope that you spend some time reflecting on what you're thankful for. Um, but really, I hope that you spend some time reflecting on who you're thankful for. Who has God put in your life and how have they made an impact on you? Maybe it's family, it's friends, maybe it's people that you've done ministry with, like Paul is referencing here. Maybe it's people in a ministry that have invested in you and, uh, and, and made a difference in your life of following Jesus. But I hope whoever it is that you spend some time reflecting on the past and going, hey, who has stood by you? Who has made a difference in your life? And just spend some time thanking God for them and thanking God for the many blessings he's given us because we are blessed far more than we acknowledge and give him credit for. So I hope today on this national day of Thanksgiving that you pause and give thanks to God, the author of every good and perfect gift uh, for how he has blessed you. Hope that you have a great and thankful day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.